Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru from my desk in North Thailand. And uh, I want to have another look at uh, light immersive platforms. Uh, and as a reminder, a light immersive platform is a, an online platform for communication or teaching and learning. And it's a cross between a 3D virtual world and a regular website. But it's not completely 3D. And uh, it can be viewed inside a, a web browser. And it's much easier to, uh, to get into. And, and that's what we'll have a look at in the next uh, four and a half minutes. Now, I'm going to show you a real life example here. And it's brilliant. The timing could, they couldn't be better. And I'm really quite excited to show you this one. And there's a company in the States called Hobson's who each year provide information to help students choose which universities they want to go to in North America. And for the first time in 2011, they've ac they're actually building a light immersive platform. And they've given me access to show you na this platform uh, now. Um, you can find details about each of the events they've got coming up in a few months' time, or it may be now if you're looking at this in a few months' time. And there's some addresses here which uh, you can uh, freeze this and make a note of and come back to. So let's move on. Um, everything's in a browser, um, and on the Shambles website, there are uh, details of light immersive platforms you can come to there uh, at this address. Um, this is the one that Hobson's is using. It's called InExpo, um, but that's for information only. Uh, it's not, not much practical use. Um, this, if you want to come to the virtual student fairs, is, I think, is the key page to come to, is the address to make a note of here. Um, th this one at the top here, hobsonsevents.com. Now, when you come here, you'll register for one of these events, and all the dates are here, and the times are there. Actually, there's a sideline. I think the times they've chosen are brilliant each day, because they start local time about midday, and finish early evening. So it means students can actually work with teachers in the school, or they can work at home with parents and visit these the, this uh, virtual environment, the virtual student fair. Um, so when you go and you register, they'll give you the URL to come to. And uh, when you come to it, you'll, uh, <laughs> you'll get this auto system check, which is done on my machine. And interestingly here, it's saying, uh, we're not quite sure about your browser. I'm using uh, Chrome, but I think most browsers would work well, and it will tell you what's the problem. If, but I'm I'm going to I'm going to move ahead here, uh, and not look at what they think the problem is, and just skip to the event. They'll give you a username, ID, and a password. So when you've uh, when you've signed up, and you'll enter. Here we go. As this is quite this is very quick. Um, it's working in a browser alone. There's nothing special to, to download. Now, all I'm going to do is raise awareness here. There's several areas. You're not actually an avatar. You're a voyeur. And um, there's an exhibition hall. There's networking lounge. There's a library to go to for materials. Um, there, there is, along the top here, a, um, a menu as well. Uh, there's a search. If you click the search, which I rather like, this search will come up in any particular uh, page that you're on. Let's have a quick look in the exhibition hall. <laughs> there's, a, there's a video playing. I've, uh, I've switched the sound off so you can't hear the video. But these are where the uh, different universities will be uh, exhibiting. Um, bearing in mind we're three months before it sets up so there's only some, uh, some here for information and you can uh, click on here and you'll be sent to the particular university's page and stand and you can uh, um, ask questions of people live. Um, you, can see, you, can, you can see who else is on. Oh, there's quite a lot online at the moment here. I think I might have to be doing a part two of this because my five minutes is, is, is almost up and we're not going to look at these other areas. So I think I might do a part two. But in case you don't have time to look at the part two, let me just make sure that you're aware of where you can get more information. Hobsons have a Twitter account, so a good thing to do would be to follow them there. And the other place is at their Facebook account. So that's it. I think uh, what I'll do is leave the splash page here so you can make sure you have the details. And look for my part two where I'll look a bit more detail.